Join the team. Hey, this is McGuire Review, and we're going to continue our look at the Castle Ravenloft offerings that are coming out of WizKids here. You can pre-order some of these things as we get closer and closer to kind of the release of a lot of these different types of miniatures. But we've got here the Grave Drinker. This is straight out of Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. Now, we have recently done a unboxing of a whole brick. The miniatures, they're going to hit in quarter one of 2022. What you'll see here on the table is just a continuation of more of the different types of sculpts that are going to come out with this particular set. We do have some cool things here. We're going to open up both of these on the video today, take a look at them close up. This here, these are the promos, the special promos that you can get from this set. And I'm not gonna open them up. This is a little bit of a teaser. If you wanna see these, go check out Instagram. Uh, you can get to my Instagram, it's in the description below. Uh, and you can see exactly what these look like. And there's some really, really cool models. A little, little teaser here on this one, if you can see it close enough. Some really cool models that are in the promos and you'll be able to check those out up close on Instagram only. Okay, a little, little Instagram exclusive there if you wanna go over and check out Instagram. Okay, let's get into uh, these two first, and then we'll get the old Grave Drinker out. So I'm going to get the uh, old bone, mini, mini bone shiv of death here to open up these nicely. And we'll get these packs out. Let's see here. Ah, pull these right up out of here. And these are the ones from Barovia, and then we also have ones that are directly from Castle Ravenloft that you'll find here. I do like that they kind of did both of these, because it's like, oh, you got... You know, characters and NPCs in the town or the city there, Barovia, and then you have um, more characters that are directly related to, you know, the castle Ravenloft in the castle. So that's kind of cool. They got those two sets. Put this here. I like the artwork on the box. You'll see these are nice window box offerings. I really like these sets they do. I think this is probably the war bands and these little these little window box sets, I think is some of the coolest stuff that they do. Because then you can just say, you know what, I'm going to spend my money on this, and this is exactly what, what I'm looking to get. You can see exactly what, what you're getting for the, for the money that you're paying, okay? So we'll pop each one of these out. Okay, and they are out again. These are a little difficult to get out of these particular packs. Just, if you don't want to, if you do want to retain this as like a little display for one reason or the other, you are going to have to kind of ruin it a little bit to be able to get them out. Uh, it is kind of tough to pop each one of them out. You just want to be careful. Don't ever grab from the top and try to pull. You're just going to destroy them. You, you, have to, you have to pop them out from underneath if you want to do that, uh, or you, you will break them if you're just trying to, to pull them out because they are in there very, very securely. Um, which is something you just have to do with this type of packaging because otherwise something gets loose and it's just fumbling around in there. No one's ever going to buy that if it's sitting in a store more than likely. And that model could get damaged, like bumping around in there. So it's just something to know. I do like to keep these sometimes and just, you know, keep them in their little, their little display. And then it's like, oh, I need, I need that. And I, and I, the whole sets together. That way they don't just get lost amongst all the other miniatures. Okay. So here's the pack here. You can see each one of these on the up front or the up side by side miniature cam there. Really, really cool. Each one of these sculpts, um, they're really done nicely. Nice paint job. I mean, comparable to any of the other um, sculpts that they're doing right now in their blind boxes. I love this little. What's this guy here? This is uh, Godolf Blinsky, one of seven. He's probably my favorite from this set. What a cool little sculpt there. I really like this one too. Isaac Stronzny. <laughs> maybe four of seven that one's a really cool one too uh well i mean they're all cool it just uh some of them jump out to me a little bit more i really like this one here with the little imp on the back that's a really cool one that's a lady watcher five of seven so really cool set that you've got there um with the first from barovia and then this one here is directly the set from castle ravenloft so we'll get into those and we will pop those out as well this part will come easily um, up out of the box it's just getting those miniatures out of the next set which can be um, a little bit a little bit challenging so i'll show you here normally i would just kind of cut 
this part of me getting these out, but I'll show you if you, you, you can kind of pull it like that a little bit, give yourself a little bit of room to work. And then you, from the underside, you can kind of pull away and push up. And then each one of those will, will come out of there. And that's really how you have to do it. Um, or you will rip and break them if you try to just muscle them out of there. So just take a little time, pop them out. You can see, you know, how I'm doing it here. It's not, you know, some of them are a little bit, you really got to get under there and push hard, uh, and you can get, you can get them out of there. Uh, no problem without, without damaging them. And if you're careful enough, like I tried to be as careful as I could, but I still ripped it a little bit and I ripped this one as well. I do like to keep these as nice as I I can keep them that way. They are kind of little display stages, but uh, that that is what it is, right? It's not it's not really made for that. It's just the packaging. I just try to u reuse it that way. Okay, so here's Castle Ravenloft. These are really cool as well, and, and they're going to look more, you know, vampiric, and that's what you're going to get from from most of the sculpts that are here. This one here is an interesting one. This is uh, Emil Torrens. How do you pronounce that name? Tornescu, Tornescu, Emil Tornescu, two of seven. That's a really cool one. It's got some nice translucent material kind of there at the bottom that he's standing in. And then we've got a number of kind of the vampiric. So these are really cool. And I think, you know, a lot of these you can kind of reuse as NPC town folk as well. I mean, maybe not like, like Anastrosia here, if I said that correctly, is... Um, <laughs> This one would be hard to just reuse as like a standard NPC because she's obviously got some vampiric like, you know, look going on to her. But some of these other ones, I think, can definitely be reused in lots of different ways. If you just want to have like some reuse in a tavern with like some NPCs, you can definitely get the reuse out of most of these types of sculpts. And that's one of the things that's kind of nice about these sets that are like this, that, hey, yes, they're specific for a certain campaign that's being ran, but they're highly reusable um, for other types of things. And I, you know, I, I look for that in a lot of the sculpts because, again, you're investing a good amount of money in these sculpts when you buy them. And it's always good to be able to reuse these sculpts, you know, into the future, into other campaigns. You definitely don't want to be paying you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars for a set of miniatures and then not be able to reuse them outside of the campaign that you're buying them for. So I think they've done a really nice job in uh, being able to sculpt those miniatures and make them in a way that the ones that are in these sets are somewhat highly reusable. Okay. I absolutely love the interior they did here. Just matching the shirt for the day. I mean, I don't know if that was really planned. It wasn't, but it's how it worked out. So that looks good. All right, nice box. We will set that. I love the interior. Well done on the interior of that box. Set that aside. Uh, put away the tiny bone shiv of death so I don't cut anybody. That would be me. And then open this. Oh, we got one more piece of tape. I'll just pop this piece of tape off. One more piece of tape that we had up top here. And then let's get out the old drinker. The old dinky link. What's his name? The grave drinker. The grave drinker of blood. This thing is uh, pretty nasty. I mean, it looks... Oh, I didn't notice that. So it looks very similar to um, the big purple worm they did. A little bit different, obviously. Different base of the sculpt a little bit of a different style but it's similar to the purple worm obviously this one's more of a monster zombie type worm and another thing that's really cool about it i really like how they did this this coloring here on the base of the sculpt with that greenish brown it's a really cool contrast and i think they needed to do that to give a good good contrast with this gray they're using on the body here of this worm and I also love all the sculpting that's on the worm with the bones. And it's interesting how they did they did kind of the bones of this worm all in the same kind of color as the base gray, which is which was an interesting choice when I first pulled it out because I thought, you know, it, it may have added a little bit more contrast to this, like the purple worm had, where if they would have done the bone in like a bone versus the same gray color as the worm. Now I don't know if that was done 
because uh, you can see here they did that with the teeth right like all the teeth are that like kind of bone look why not the rest of like this here i i think it would have looked better like that that may have done a that may have been sort of a cost cutting type thing um to have it all within the gray it doesn't look bad don't get me wrong um it, another reason why that is possibly that way is you can see here on the underside there is kind of some yellow um like uh, writing like graphs that are on the bottom of the worm there's actually two 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 strips there where there's writing in yellow if these would have all been done with that bone that may have kind of taken a little bit away from that and you wouldn't that wouldn't have jumped out as much against that solid gray back tone also i think just the fact that it's supposed to be kind of this you know grave drinker in the grave it's just it's all kind of that monotone gray which I mean, it doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm trying to kind of put the review side on it and like, would it have looked better if they would have also done all of these bits in, in the bone just like that? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that gray monotone for the whole thing does kind of have a unique look. So, and it makes it a little bit, it, it does make it feel a little bit different where it's all gray, but it's got these spikes and these gnarly bits. Um, and it does set it apart a little bit. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know if I like it better like that or not. I mean, as I'm just kind of sitting here looking on it, it like, it, it is growing on me, all kind of being that, that solid gray. I think the only other thing I would have done if they would have stuck with the solid gray is a little bit of extra care to the wash on these these outer bits here. This, not so important because that's kind of part of it. But these these bony bits here, I think, with a little bit of a darker um, wash, they would have stood out a little bit more, and it would have looked a little deadlier, a um, little grimier, a little little deadlier. So that's the only thing I would say as far as this model. It is a really really cool sculpt. I really like this, and I think this would go awesome with any type of Halloween or grave themed or any type of zombie themed type. Uh, campaign you'd be running your players through but obviously this one is designed for and comes with the Ravenloft sculpt set that has recently uh, been created okay so that's the things we're going to unbox today on this video hopefully you like the video if you want to see the promos again go check out instagram i've already got them up on instagram and you can see all of these promos up close uh, and exactly what they look at. And again, there are some really cool ones in this, so it's not something you want to miss. Hit that like, click the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling in, Chris. This has been the McGuire Review. We'll see you next time.